Was there a point where you noticed that digitization or digital transformation changed the way you work as a university? You know, if you think that there was a flip, a switch that you flipped and then uh, we ch change behavior, then this is a wrong metaphor. This is a gradual development that takes place over decades. And therefore the word the revolution uh, sometimes I think is uh, useful for communication and media purposes, but it's not really what's going on. This is a continuous transformation that has started in the 1980s, even before probably, when first email appeared, when the first computers were networked together, early 1970s, ARPANET and all these developments at that time, the protocols were invented, the browser technology was invented. And we as scientists, as engineers, are tech geeks. We always pick that up as quickly as possible as it's available. And in a university environment which is full of tech geeks, this was always there as soon as it was available. Once again, it's not one moment in time that it has happened. It has happened for the last 30, 40 years. And it is a consequence of the huge progress that uh, microelectronics computation devices have made. Moore's law, what we are seeing here is essentially the working of Moore's law.